Addison. Again, a beautiful day here. 43 degrees. It feels much warmer. The sun is out. Brister looking for Lins, and he's intercepted. He is intercepted by Lemuel Stenson. So much for the interception streak. And the ball is at the 20-yard line. Worley makes the tackle, but Lemuel Stenson filling in for Donnell Wolford picks off the first pass of the day. And that is a key interception. As you mentioned, Stinson was the guy that's filling in for Wolford, who was in a car accident this week, who's played so well at corner for the Bears. And the, the Steelers go right after his replacement, but Stinson is there to make the play. I mean, a heads-up play, but a Steelers trying to go after the guy who was making the first start this year. But Stinson was equal to the challenge. First and 20. Neil Anderson, running left, gets a block, but not a second one. They are out in front of him, but Rod Woodson makes the tackle. Four-yard gain for Neil Anderson. Jim Covert returning to the area where he grew up, played football at Pitt. Sports is the left guard, Hilgenberg the center, Thayer the right guard, and Van Horn the right tackle. Thornton is the tight end. In the backfield with Harbaugh, Anderson, and Brad Muster. Davis starts today, his first start of the season at receiver, McKinnon as well. Of course, we'll see Morris and Gentry passing plays, second and 16, Chicago. Running room. Inside of the 30 to the 28-yard line, Woodruff with the tackle. Tackled by Woodruff. And out of the shotgun, Harbaugh. He'll keep it. And he has the first down at the 16-yard line. Well, that is a nice play by the Bears. You got him in man-for-man -man, uh, defense. The only guy who is not, watch the left guard here as he pulls out, that's Bortz, Mark Bortz, and lead the way for Harbaugh. A man-for-man -man defense like this is you cannot account for the quarterback. And it's 63, actually, Jill, Jay Hilgenberg, the center, who pulls out. Bortz, number 62, is out in front of them as well. And because all the defenders have their backs turned to Harbaugh, he's able to pick up the first down. But a clever call on a passing situation against the man defense. by Woodson and Olsovsky. Third and four for the Bears. Threatening after the interception by Stenson. Harbaugh goes under center. Gentry out in motion. Harbaugh steps forward. Harbaugh to the three-yard line and a first down. Tackled by Thomas Everett. Well, Free safety. Jim, that's the second time we've seen Harbaugh scramble for first downs. Third time we've seen him scramble. And if you play in the man-for-man -man defense, you can't account for him. So the adjustment, the adjustment the Steelers are going to have to make is to play some more zone. You see the linebackers, they're covering backs. That means there's nobody inside. If you play zone, they stay at home. And that's what a, the adjustment a scrambling quarterback can force you to make. It's also, as you mentioned, the reason that Mike Ditka likes Jim Harbaugh. Ditch to Anderson. down Chicago. You called the block by Jimbo Colbert and by Brad Muster, the fullback. Two big blocks, and Neil uh, Anderson just hugged the block of Colbert. Watch Jim Colbert, number 74, come out and lead the way for Anderson. Anderson hugs that block and then bursts over, get, picked a nice block up by Brad Muster, the fullback as well. Nice little drive by Chicago. Front four of Armstrong, McMichael, Perry, and Dent. Linebackers for the Bears. Rivera, Singletary, and John Roper. Rookie from Texas A&M. Stinson had the interception. Bestie Jackson, the other corner. Duerson and Gale are the safety. Go running with Worley. Maybe a yard. Tackled by Roper. 
Nice play by John Roper, the outside linebacker, number 55. And he was a guy Mike Dicka was saying a couple of days ago that one of the best outside linebacker prospects they've had with the Bears in quite some time. Okay. If he can go all out every play, he's going to have a great career. But he ran that play down from behind. Only McMichael and Singletary have started all 10 games. Second and nine. This was pass caught. Here, a first down. And it's caught by Mularkey. First and near the 47 yard line, tackled by Dave Dewerson. The Steelers were not good in third down situations a week ago against Denver. They were terrible. White Stone in motion to give to Stone. Crossed him up. Stone has the first down, and here he goes into the secondary. Finally wrestled down by Stinson at the 21 yard line. Missed from 39 yards. Made 40 of his last 41 inside of the 40. 7 0 Chicago. And run it with Gentry. Gentry gets past Little and bumped out by Woodruff. They spot it near midfield. A 29 yard run for number 29. You know, Mike, or uh, Jim, anytime the, the, uh, there's open on the, uh, open on the outside your offensive linemen are doing a great job and I think with Bortz number 62 and Thayer the two guards who are out there in front of Dent Gentry but anytime they get to the outside like that you're picking up some good blocks on the outside the containment was completely knocked down first 10 plays running close now Harbaugh will throw and he's intercepted and then it's dropped obviously he held on to it Greg Lloyd. Pittsburgh takes over from the 37. And Worley met right away by William Perry. Not as good as he used to be running plays down from the backside. Loss of four, second and 14. Brister with time. Has Hodge open. And he makes the catch. Dodges one tackle and gets to the 46-yard line. Worley. Hodge with behind Brister. Rush on him, gets away from McMichael. And the pass is caught by Derek Hill. Near another first down. Steve McMichael had a shot at him. So it's third and seven. McKinnon in motion. Harbaugh's pass is caught by Wendell Davis at the 40-yard line and a Chicago first down. Wendell Davis getting his first start of the season today. Second year player from LSU was the number one pick last year. McKinnon and Davis, the receivers on first down. Sander bobbled it for a moment, retrieves it, and gets to midfield. You know you were talking earlier, Jim, about Brad Muster and how he's being used more as a blocker for the tailbacks again. That time Muster was out in front of Sanders. And also the good block by a, a tight end as well, number Eddie James Thornton. He's a guy who has, has made a difference in this bear attack. He is right there on Gerald Williams, number 91. That's a terrific block. He knocked it back six yards. Wow. Nice block by Thornton and by Muster. Second down and one. Muster. First down. Plows his way to the 45-yard line. First and 10. Out of the eye, they get to Sanders. It's near the 40-yard line. Five yards on the play. Tackle by Lorenzo Freeman, the backup nose. We were talking to Mike Ditka this week, and he said, hey, if I'm calling the plays, it's going to be a low-scoring game because I believe you win by running the football. Jimbo Culver right here at the end of the line. We saw him pass block a little bit earlier. Watch how he comes off the line, gets the position, gets the hands out, and just buries the guy there in front of him. And you saw the graphic, the only stealer left over from the last Super Bowl champs when they beat the Rams. I had to remind him. Yes. Screen pass to Anderson. Where will they spot it? 
racing down that left sideline. They spotted at the 36 yard line, which is right next to the first down marker, maybe just a little bit shy. So it's fourth and a long one. It's almost two yards to go. Muster the lone setback. They go with Muster, and they let the second-year man from Stanford go straight ahead and pick up the first down. Watch Hilgenberg, number 63, and Bortz, and they are inside. It's a little inside trap as Bortz, number 62, comes around and just sits on his guy, squashes him. And then Muster had enough little room to squeeze his way in for the first down, but a nice play by Thayer, Hilgenberg, and Bortz inside. Third and eight. Dent coming after Brister. The pass is caught by Hodge. Wow. All the way to the 19-yard line and a first down. Dent just 10 days ago with a big five-year contract extension. First and 10, Pittsburgh. Now the pressure again. William Perry with the sack and Singletary to make sure he goes down. Boy, Fridge has played well this game this far, and he is right here. And you see Mike Singletary too as well. But watch again how quickly the key to Fridge is how quickly he gets off. He fakes right and then goes left. A nice little stunt there by the Bears, and he has the quickness to get off. Even though he's a big man, those first three steps are the key to William Perry's game. All the way back to about the one-yard line. A loss of 17 on the play. Just be careful here. Out of the shotgun, standing on the goal line, Bubby Brister. Flanked by Hodge and Carter. Flags are down. Flags are down. What a pass this is. Boy, that's not going to be a safety. It was close. Carter with the reception inside of the one. And Durson came up, was right there all the way. Anderson returns to the game. Matt Suey is in now, fullback. Suey gets the carry inside the 30 to the 25-yard line. Boy, Matt Suey, over the years, has run those quick little inside traps as well as anybody I've seen. I mean, he's got his favorite little play. All guys, running backs, have their favorite plays, so that's his. They like to get in the ball inside, follow one of his guards on a little trap, and he's got a nice little burst through the middle. Now out of the field comes Kevin Butler riding 20 consecutive field goals made. What a streak he has. The all-time record, 23 by Mark Mosley. This will be a 39-yard attempt. Tom Zach holding. High snap, but the kick is good. 21 in a row by Kevin Butler. Kevin Butler moves closer to a National Football League record. 21 straight field goals. It goes back to last year, last October, as he's successful from 39 yards. McMichael got a hand on it. How about Steve McMichael? You know, some things don't change. Some people don't change after 10 years in the league. Still comes hard every single play. Number 76, who come in the middle of your screen. Again, Dan on the outside, getting on the corner of Jackson, forcing Brister to step up. That's a 35 yard I'll tell you, he is a guy who's done it every down that he's played. There's no, I go slow in him at all. The Bears catch the first one in for the touchdown, the only touchdown of the game. Harbaugh throws it over there, complete to Munster, Muster. Brad Muster, you mentioned it earlier, has caught 10 passes in the last two games. And there's Steve McMichael. He's really held that defensive line together. Dan Hampton, obviously, out with the knee injury. Getting his, will have his 10th knee operation in a couple of weeks. Uncertain about his future, but Steve McMichael's been the guy. There's Dan Hampton. What a remarkable career both of those guys have had playing next to each other over the years. Next Saturday on CBS, number one Notre Dame travels to Penn State and that's not an easy place to play as Lou Holtz and company will ride that 22 game win streak into Happy Valley and take on the master Joe Paterno. You know seeing some good running backs here today but one of my favorite runners in college football this year has been Anthony Johnson the fullback at Notre Dame who's had a, just a sensational year for the Fighting Irish. Third and four. Oh here comes the blitz. 
Woodson was after him. Got away, and McKinnon makes the grab for the first down at the 20-yard line. Well, the athletic ability of Jim Harbaugh, I think, has been the difference thus far in the game. The three scrambles on their drive. This time he gets around a very quick Rod Woodson. He's got terrific speed. And then McKinnon is, runs crossing routes real well for the Bears. Not afraid to catch the ball over the middle. Did a nice job of getting himself open. Anderson and Muster. The backs. Harbaugh's going to dump it off to Muster. Little one-handed grab. Here he goes. Touchdown, Chicago. Boy, did that look easy. 20 yards untouched. Well, and you can feel Jim Harbaugh gain more and more confidence. He's hanging in the pocket. He's coming off the secondary receivers, looking downfield. And again, Muster, he just dinks it out there. Muster has become a better and better receiver and more featured in the bear attack. But Woodson just gets the ball stripped right there. Number 37 reaches his hands out. Douglas. And just... Douglas, yeah, just stripped him right of the ball. Zitka bypasses the 53-yard field goal attempt. Fourth and 18. Harbaugh has all kinds of room. The whole field is open over there. And he steps out past the first down. When you have a scrambling quarterback like that, you have to change your defense. If you continue to play man-for-man -man defense, he's going to continue to scramble like that because he can't be accounted for. Picked up 19 yards on the fourth and 18 play. Wow, what a play. 34-yard attempt. Remember, Fontenot will snap it back to Tom Zach. This is for his 22nd straight field goal. And the kick is good. 22 in a row for Kevin Butler. In full control, 20 to nothing. Fortin in motion. Ball handing off to Anderson. He gets the corner. And Woodruff. Lowers the shoulder on him to knock him out of bounds, but in Pittsburgh territory at the 44-yard line. Just tells you how stock of football talent they are in the Pittsburgh area and have been for years. Pass caught by Ron Morris at the 34-yard line. Matt Suey in at fullback to give to Anderson for a first down at the 30. Toe double here on the nose tackle, and watch these guys come off. Again, you talk about line surge. We talk about everybody contributing. These offensive linemen have done a wonderful job of getting off the ball, staying low, and creating some creases for guys to run. Fontenot pancake Freeman on that play. First and ten. And the counter to Anderson. Doubled up by Woodruff and Carnell Lake. Out of bounds at the 22-yard line. Yeah, what else do you think Butler's thinking? Third down and three. They don't the first down. Butler have to attempt one from about 40 yards to tie Mosley's all-time record. Bozo in motion trying to get a lead block. They've got the first. And all the way to the 10-yard line is Neil Anderson. And what a nice burst by Anderson and a terrific block on the left side by Bortz. Colbert, and again, Fontenot at center. Watch the left side of this offensive line. Colbert engages his guy. Suey makes a nice block. And then Neil Anderson has that terrific burst. Once he pops through the line, it doesn't take long for him to accelerate. Miami has come back to take the lead on the Jets. We have a field goal note on that game. We'll give it to you after this play. Brister now. The lips. Douglas on the tackle at the 48-yard line. Pittsburgh trying to avoid a shutout for the third time this year. Again across the middle. And the ball is caught by Lips again in Chicago territory at the 48-yard line. Now Brister has Lips down the right side. And Douglas, did he hold on for the interception? Yes. Douglas today with an interception and a fumble recovery. What a day Douglas has had, as well as Stinson at defensive back. And again, they're trying to pick on him. They're trying to have Lewis Lips come up with big plays. And even though he's double covered, Brister has enough confidence that he thinks he can go up and make a play in these kind of circumstances. But Douglas says, no thanks. 
Well, this year it's been a much maligned Chicago defense, riddled not only by the opposition, but by the media as well. Here are the starters in white that are left over from the Super Bowl champs. Only four in all. Dewars and the lone man in the secondary. Still starting from that Super Bowl team. Six turnovers today they've garnered. And now Anderson. Boy, is he hit as he goes down one last time. He was pummeled as he was falling to the ground. Greg Lloyd put a pop on him, but good yardage for Neil Anderson. Mike Tomzak has come into the game at quarterback, replacing Jim Harbaugh. Harbaugh today, 13 out of 25, one touchdown, one interception. Muster. The 33-yard line. Thomas Everett by the ankles. It's second and 10 here. Wendell Davis, the receiver, near the first down at the 50. Woodruff on the coverage. First and 10 from their own 20. Stock in motion. Shotgun snap back to Brister, and he goes down. Dick Chapura coming off the bench, stepping in for McMichael and getting a sack, the fourth of the day for the Bears. Boy, regardless of whether it's Perry or Dantor, the second team guys, Dick Chaporo that time, didn't make much difference. Brister to Hodge. Oh. And Tate forces him out of bounds. Tom Zach remains in at quarterback. Here's Taylor. Sailing inside of the 40 to the 38-yard line. Cut under by Carnell Lake. Six and four, Chicago. Pittsburgh dips to four and six. The Steelers have been shut out in three games this year. The final score, Chicago 20 and Pittsburgh nothing. Mike Ditka. Remember earlier this week, he's talking about, is he going to retire? Well, Bobby Brister hasn't thrown an interception in eight games and 179 uh, straight uh, pass plays. But his first pass play on this day, picked off by Lemuel Stinson. Stinson cuts back for 13 yards to the Steeler 20-yard line. Stinson, one of the Bear defenders, standing tall on this afternoon. After a couple of penalties, put the Bears back at the 40. Jim Harbaugh goes to work. And I don't know if he's a poor man's Bobby Douglas or whatever, but he, Tommy, just likes to run the football, doesn't he? Well, he was such a good runner in college, I think he feels a lot more comfortable taking off with the football than throwing it up for grabs. Harbaugh, seven carries, 56 yards rushing on the afternoon. This scramble down to the three sets up a touchdown two plays later by Neil Anderson. The Bears lead it 7-0. And you know who else had a good day today on defense? Our friend in the fridge. William Perry had an excellent day. Here he smells out the reverse gets his body in front of it, and that's a big body to get in front of it. Lewis Lips cuts off, misses him the first time around, comes back to get him the second time. Now the fumble here by Worley. Watch the fridge, fridge all over the ball. Fridge shows the hands that Dicker used to like a couple of years ago when he throw to him in the end zone. Fridge starts up field. Smart play by the guard getting down to make sure he gets him on the ground. And here the Fridge combines with Mike Singletary to get a sack. Couple of sacks on the day for the Fridge. When Bubby wasn't being sacked by the fridge, he had the ball doink off the head of Derrick Hill this sort of day for the Steelers. Harbaugh hits a wide open Brad. Colonel Muster. He does it in the dining room with the candlestick for a touchdown, 20 to nothing at the half. In the second half, the Steelers try to come back. Louis Lips hauls it and goes 60 yards, but Lemuel Stinson hauls him down. And two plays later, the shutout is preserved when Stinson, his second interception of the day, three and all thrown by Bubby Brister. And there's Bubby's numbers, and the Bears are simply too tough. Their first win, now they don't play the Steelers very often, but their first win in Pittsburgh since 1945. I'm not sure if they were the Steagles then when they won that game did Pittsburgh, uh, but uh, the Bears hadn't won in Pittsburgh since World War II. Kevin Butler, by the way, a couple of field goals, has now nailed 22 in a row. That ties him for second on the all-time list with Pat Leahy, the record of 23 straight field goals over a couple of years by Mark Mosley. So the next game, Butler might have himself a spot 
in the NFL record. Celebrate a sunny afternoon in Pittsburgh, then with a cold one. And with such a big beverage hanging around, it's nice to have a big fridge. William Perry may not be less filling, but despite double teams, he played great. Perry cooled off the Steelers Sunday by registering two sacks and recovering a fumble. Chicago's defense held Pittsburgh to 54 yards rushing and picked off three passes to raise its league-leading total to 21. Now Brister takes the snap, drops back to throw, pumps once now, lofts the right sideline for left, sweeping interception is made by Stinson near the 32, turns upfield to the 30, cutting right to the 25, Stinson breaking down the right side, across the 25 is brought down near the 20-yard line. Lemuel Stinson had two of the three thefts and helped make things extremely easy for the Bears' offense. Side, Harbaugh pulls back from center, rushes on. He has time now, floats it over the right side. Westbrook in the clear, 15 to the 10 to the 5, yeah. touchdown! They've been through tough times recently, but with a shutout and a 6-4 record, the Bears are just a game out of first.